Hello, my name is Jay Simmons. I'm a software engineer in the Active Directory team here at Microsoft. I'm here today to demo a new feature in Windows Local Administrator Password Solution, also known as Windows Labs, that is related to improve integration with a managed device's local maximum password age policy. This talk does assume that you have some basic familiarity with Windows Labs. If you're brand new to Windows Labs, I'd encourage you to review our online docs and consider watching the videos that you will find linked there. So on the screen we have two test machines. On the left we have a Windows 11 pre-release OS that is domain joined to a test domain. On the right is a Windows Server 2019 domain controller that is in the test domain. Now, note that while today's demo is using a Windows, uh, a pre-release Windows 11 build, you can also test this feature yourself using in-market Windows 11 and Windows 10 builds, assuming they are patched up to at least the October 2023 Patch Tuesday updates. All right, let's get started. So first of all, why does Windows Labs care about a device's local maximum password age policy? So consider that the uh, the, lo the the Windows Labs managed accounts are actually local accounts, and the Windows Labs code in Windows is is rotating that password for that managed account on an interval that has been specified by the IT administrator's policy at the um, external directory level. But the local account in Windows also has a local notion of how long. Uh, how old passwords are allowed to be, and that is the local devices governed by the local devices maximum pay password age policy. So essentially what we have here are two uh, intersecting policy uh, authorities that are trying to be authoritative for two uh, for the same aspect of that local Windows Labs managed account. Now, note that uh, users are not allowed to change the Windows Labs, the Windows Labs account password. Uh, this is blocked by our account tampering protections. And even if a user was able to change or set the, the password on the local Windows Labs managed account, this would result in a password inconsistency between the device and the directory. So we considered multiple ways to address this and one of them is we could just say, hey, you could just set your maximum password age policy to zero. Uh, this is not recommended because it means that all local account passwords for that given device would never expire. So again, not recommended. Um, you could tell administrators to say, um, please align the local device's max password age to be the same as the max password age setting in the lapse uh, domain policy but that's not a simple or easy thing to do or to coordinate that sort of thing between two different, probably two different administrators and it's not easy to maintain it going forward over the long term. We could have set the password never expires flag on the Windows Labs managed account. Uh, we didn't go this direction for a couple reasons. One, it could raise security monitoring red flags but also it's just not true. The password does expire, but it, it, it expires on an interval that is different than what the local device has been configured to think is suitable. So what we've done is, is we've implemented changes in Windows so that Windows Labs managed accounts are always allowed to log in normally, even if they have a password that is considered locally expired according to the device's local password policy. All right, enough talk. Let's talk. Let's show a little bit of this. So, uh, let's take a look at the local users on this device. So, um, we have the built-in administrator. He, that is a disabled account right now. We're not using that account for the purposes of this demo. We have a random local admin account. Now, this is just a random account that we will be using for the purposes of comparing and contrasting. And we have the local a local account called Laps Admin. Now. This account has already been, this is going to be the Windows Labs managed account, and we've already configured it for that. And so, actually, if, so as you can see, we have currently disabled post authentication actions. We have configured the Laps managed account to be managed. 
uh, we forced password encryption on and we're backing passwords up to Active Directory. I should stop here and point out that the changes that I'm describing, the improvements that I'm describing are work identically whether the device is joined to on-premise Active Directory or whether it's joined to Azure Active Directory. The improvements work the same in both cases. Both, both scenarios are, are, will benefit from these improvements. So we've already configured Windows Labs and as you can see we've already set the password and backed it up to Active Directory and we're just, we've, we've copied the password out of the PowerShell window and we've put it over here in a notepad file. Now it can be very awkward to demo this sort of scenario if you have to wait around for days and days to uh, for the for a password to expire according to some or another password policy. So for the purposes of this demo, after the lapse managed account password had been rotated, we I have, I've artificially forced the password last set attribute on the two local accounts to be five days in the past. So we'll take a look at that. So if we go, we look at those two, we can see that for the the local admin account we're, that we set it about five days ago, or it appears to have been set five days ago. And then for the lapse admin account, it was also set about five days ago, or appears to be. All right. And if we go look at these two accounts, one, one other thing, what is the maximum password age policy set to? Uh, we're currently getting the default domain policy setting of 42 days, and we're going to modify that shortly. But for the moment, I just want to look at one other thing, and that is that this checkbox right here, user must change password at next logon, is unchecked for both the local admin account and the lapse admin account. Okay. Let's, before we, now what we're going to do is modify the device's maximum password age policy and we're going to show the impact that has on both the local admin account and the lapse admin account. But before we go there, let's make sure that these two accounts are working authentication wise as we expect. Okay, that worked. And I'm going to copy the current lapse managed account password and paste it in here. And that worked. So both accounts are in a working state. Now we're going to flip back over here to the domain controller in a second. And I've already pre-configured a GPO for the entire domain for so that we can quickly modify the maximum password age policy to be three days. Now, clearly this is a demo contrived value. We would never do this in the real world, but I just want to show the impact of the policy and the, on the changes. So we're going to apply that. Now we're going to come back over here to our managed device. update our policy and verify it. All right, so you can see that it is now modified to three days. Let's take a look in the UI to see if that reflected. So for the local admin account, you can see that it says, yep, uh, it thinks that it needs to change the password. And for the lapse admin account, it does not. So that's already one vi the first visible visible manifestation of the improvement. And if we do so, now that the maximum password age policy has been changed, you can see that the password was considered as expired about two days ago, roughly or so. And that's why it it would be prompting that user for a new password on login. Let's compare that with the lapse admin account. And it is also at least locally considers the password to be expired. Now 
that is uh, password expired is something that is computed dynamically but the whole what the impact of the feature that we've added here is that for authentication purposes that will be ignored all right so let's try the run as examples again and you can see that as a result of forcing that local the as a result of reducing the maximum password age policy to 3 days we've now blocked the ability of the local admin account to log in if we had tried to log in with the local admin account interactively um that person would have been prompted immediately for a password change before they could continue let's try it with a lapse admin account And I'm going to come back up here and copy the lapse generated password. And you can see that it still works. So this improvement in the Windows Labs feature is intended to ensure that the Windows Labs managed account is always available at any time, no matter what, and that it composes and intersects correctly with the uh, other Mac po password policy settings that have been configured by possibly completely different admins. So our goal is to make sure that the lapse managed account is always available no matter what for any purpose that you need it to be available for. So um, I also want to point out that this is the kind of really nice, uh, it, it, this is small, but this is a really nice improvement that's only possible now that Windows Labs is part of, a native part of the Windows operating system and we can integrate it natively with other parts of the Windows code. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the demo. If you have questions, please feel free to email me at jsimmons, J-S-I-M-M-O-N-S, at microsoft.com or you can submit feedback and other uh, feedback through our, the feedback links in the online docs. Thank you very much.